So, like I said, you are well to come dressed in things that will allow you to engage in simple exercises tomorrow. Hmm? Okay. And don't forget, you need to sign out at the register before leaving. Okay. okay. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, take it easy. Yes, you did miss a lot of things today. But don't worry, it's fine. When you come tomorrow, I will personally put you through. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. All right. What is it? I think something is wrong. Wrong with who? Where? The women in the world. Oh! Yes. Thank you. I thought I was going to put to bed. I knew you weren't. It was just pre-delivery pain. Mm -hmm. It was very painful. I know, I know. It's fine. You'll be alright. You still have a week and a few more days to go. Mm -hmm. So let me check on the others and I'll be back to check on you, okay? Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm trying to tap the glass in the Francis. Okay. I'm like, I'm not comfortable with Chacha being here. No, see how she's all friendly with your wife. Come on, you worry too much. Chacha is not a bad person. We thought um, something would work between us, but unfortunately it didn't. And since um, Mona Lisa came into the picture, we've been good. You know that gully blue. What do you mean? I told her about Mona Lisa and she said it's fine. Who was she supposed to see before? No. I did use brain. <laughs> I always knew my boy, Chike, was not going to end with that UK thing. Yes. What UK girl are you talking about? Oh, shh. Don't mind my sister. Carol, you're always sarcastic. Shh. What do you mean? You know? <laughs> about that girl, hmm. that girl is. Everything about her is bad. Behavioral attitude? Oh my gosh! And she comes to have settled that with me. Yeah. If not that. Auntie Carol. Hey! How are you, my baby? Fine. <laughs> I was just going to tell your mother about this girl. The other girl. You know, there was a little bit of my own. Why? Which girl? Shh. Excuse me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're in a happy moment now, you're joining me. Let's do talk. Happy girl, don't hold. That's a little spread.
you, you know what? Let me just call you back later, okay? I'll call you back later. Alright. Bye. Cha cha. I hope you're good. Of course I am. I hope you're good too. Sure. I'm great. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like you hung up because you saw me approaching? Why would I do that? I don't owe you anything, do I? Oh, really? You don't owe me anything? Um, Chacha, I, 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 I didn't mean it that way. I, I was just... The only reason I let you be after breaking my heart is because I... Well, see another man. While making him think he was the only one? What are you talking about? I know the truth. I, I don't care what you know. Whatever happened, it, it made me do it. So why are you making him feel like the worst lover on earth? Wait, I, I am confused now. Can someone tell me what is going on? Relax. She understands what I'm saying. But I don't. Um, I've also tried to sort out everything for you. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know I've always wanted more than a thank you. Stop, Chacha. I... I am married. And you should respect that. I'm sorry. going to marry me da 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 di, da oh my god and i'm like what kind of a man keeps this kind of woman in his house what you get baby babe is everything okay um i have been meaning to tell you about chacha she's at it again oh trust me I'm going to handle it. I'll take care of it. You keep saying, don't worry, I'll handle it. I know how to handle it. From the day we started cutting till today that we're married. Why don't you just allow me this little time, this one time, to teach this girl that I am a woman like her? No, don't do that. Okay, just trust me when I say I am going to take care of it. I'll handle it. Why can't she just let you be? Doesn't she know that you're a married man? Doesn't she know that? Well, I, I was at the clinic today. I wasn't feeling too good, so I had to go to the clinic. And how do you feel now? I don't know. Let's hope I get better tomorrow morning. like cats. Oh. Mm. What's the good news? <laughs> what? You know I told you I went to the clinic yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. I'm six weeks pregnant. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> what is the 
disastrous. <laughs> but that's like a bad idea for you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay, good job. Yeah. How was your trip? Mm -hmm. Hi. It's only God that will help us with the roads in this country. They are nothing to write home about at all. Mm -mm. Did you actually travel to the village? No, I did not. The roads are bad. <laughs> Mama, but you sounded like you're just coming back from the village. But the roads in this country are all bad. Or should we not talk about them? That's by the way. Now my daughter. Which of the hospitals do you go for your antenatal care? Um, okay, um, I do not have any particular hospital that I go for antenatal. I just go for any good hospital and um, health care center. That's what I do. Mm -mm. Wrong idea. Son, your wife and the unborn child needs the best of care. They do. There is this very good place in town, the best of it all. I think you'll start going there. Really? So, what is the name of the hospital? Hospital K. Who said they're in hospital? You think all these things happen in hospitals alone? No. Um, Mama, excuse me. I hope it's not a prayer house. Because I will not be caught going to any prayer house with you. Prayer house? When did they start having babies in prayer houses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now Mama is beginning to sound like Auntie Carol. Exactly. <laughs> Keep my sister out of this. Hmm? Just keep out of this. I just said the place is the best in town. Yes, it is the best in town. So how sure are you about this place, Mama? I'm sure. Because my friend that mentioned it is a matron herself. If she said it, then it is the best in town. Okay, and um, babe, what do you think about it? Why are you asking what does he think about it? So you mean all this while I've been wasting my time? No, Mama, that's not what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you know, my husband is the man of the house, so he has the final say. Mm -hmm. And thus, he does not have the final say. I do have the final say. Yes, yeah, so. She does. She does. Okay, um, we'll give it a try. A try I will convince you. Not to worry, my daughter. Hmm? All will be well. Please take my mask back to the room. Okay. I can't lift this. It's heavy. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you know, these things are what most women are not aware of. You know, when you begin to show, you begin to panic. Okay, so as I was saying, by this time, your baby is now beginning to look more and more like the baby you take home from the hospital or the maternity ward. You know, at this point, your baby has developed arms, legs, toes, you know, fingers, muscles, and the embryonic tail is almost gone. I will stop here for now, so you can purchase the manual and then read at home whenever you're free, okay? So let's also talk about symptoms you experience, you know, what are the symptoms you have in your second month? I'm sure you guys already feel that. What is this? Okay. Attack. Yes. Symptoms. Correct. Heart. Yes, and also we have frequent urination, right? Mm -hmm. And you also have Mrs. Mona Lisa Francis Chica. Yeah. Right. Okay, you forgot your card. My bad. Thank you so much. Um, doctor, I also want to say thank you very much for the lectures today. I learned a whole lot. I'm 
so grateful. My pleasure. You know, that's what we do here. We give nothing but the very best. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I look forward to seeing you some other time. Definitely. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, have a wonderful day. Really? But I think it's not to be compared with the other places I've been to. Mm, I like it. Hmm. Mama wasn't lying after all. I guess so. Um, we had an agreement, right? Yes, I know. But please, let me just no uh, finish No way, off. no way. You said that when I'm back, we'll go have lunch together. Yes, please. Let me, let me just finish up with this. No, no, no way. My 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 baby's hungry. So is your baby. Okay, let us go. Yeah, I tie my arm back from you. I don't want to stress. <laughs> Is he alone? Okay, uh, let me turn this off. I'm hungry. Okay. I finish up on my back. You have the car key. Yes. Uh, Are we going no, let me get it. Wait, let me get it. <sighs> Too fast. Come in. I see you stopped by our office today. Oh, not really. I actually stopped by to give my boyfriend lunch. Your boyfriend? Yes, my one and only boyfriend or husband. I lunch. I see. Uh, um, I'll just go back to what I was doing. Oh, uh, yeah, you should. Run along. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have been that sarcastic. Sarcastic? Was I sarcastic? Yes, you were. Oh, I didn't notice. So how is your thing going? I, I see I'm blending this on your office. <laughs> Am I supposed to be blending out of it? See, I told you. I told you like Asaba more than Lagos. Mm. Asaba is a cool place. Guy, yeah. Mona Lisa ran into Chacha today. Ah. Wait, tell me your name is Pierre. Hmm. I was there now, so nothing would have gone wrong in my presence. I wonder saw you are smiling. Ah, you are smiling, you are about this lunch. <laughs> I'll be your lunch, I, I have food. I don't understand. So I'm the only hungry dog in town with this. <laughs> Wait, um, what about um, Mona Lisa's new accidental center? Um, it's somewhere in town. You know the place? No, but um, I plan on going with her one of these days. You should actually. Yeah, no rush me. No be me get belly. No fix. <laughs> no fix. <laughs> you seem to talk about your husband always. Oh, do you haven't met my husband yet? No, I haven't. Let me show you his picture. This is my husband. <laughs> <laughs> We got married some months ago. <laughs> yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Please. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. So, at what time did you feel this pain? Um, I can't really remember. But I think it's around um, past 12 midnight. 
that was about when I called you. It's this very champagne around my waistline and I was so uncomfortable and it was there for a long time, maybe an hour or so. Okay, so do you feel much better now? I feel very much better. Thank you so much for this special attention. God well, you. you do not deserve anything less than that. My husband was so worried. He couldn't even sleep at night. Wow, was it that serious? Don't my, my husband is very, 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 very emotional. And he has this way of making things look like they are blue. Exaggerate things a lot. But I hope you're going to meet him. Soon. Yeah, I would, I would love to. Thank you so much, Doctor. So I have to run now. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. That one, but don't worry, I'll make do with this. You'll find your number for me later, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. All right. You're still mad at me over what happened three months ago. Why are men so unforgiving? Get out. Okay. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? Because Chike wouldn't even give me the chance to apologize to him. How is that my business? He's your best friend. So? What do you mean, so? You and I know Chike listens to you than it listens to any other person. Please just, just, just tell him I mean no harm. That's all. If I talk to Chike, I'll have to tell him the truth. You don't believe me. Enjoy. Robert. Tell me, how is Mike? Mm. I see he's really taking good care of you. Oh, of course he is. See, Mike is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm very sure he can never leave me for another woman. Ah. <laughs> Look, don't be too sure. Because you know men and their betrayal. Hmm. That aside, baby girl, whenever you get to class like this and pour one for just the two of us, that means something huge is happening. <sighs> Do you remember Chiki? Chiki, let's say about one year and six months ago, or probably two years. Yankee Chiki! Whoa, how can I ever forget him? Well, I think that Chiki is now living in Asaba. He's a lie. And also, he's married. Jesus. Well, not just that. His his wife is also pregnant. Now, here's the best part. I know who the wife is. <coughs> Wait, hold on. What told you? Wait, uh, what are you saying? Babe, yes, you seem to really like this um, metro. Who wouldn't love a lady that abandons anything and everything she does as long as it is me who calls? Babe, I might just say I have a problem, Metron. And then she's running to me. She abandons everyone and anything. Who wouldn't love that lady? <laughs> the thing is, why haven't I even seen her? I need to meet her one of these days. You need to see her, baby. 
She's so amazing. Mama wasn't wrong when she said I should go there. Um, that reminds me. Mama said she's coming over this weekend. Really? Yeah. She coming with Auntie Carol. I love to see those two together. Where is that coming from? From a good place. I knew it. I knew you always enjoy it when Mama and the younger sister they're having a rift. Eh? But let me tell you, he went one near the run up, but he never exceeds where it occurs. I mean, I don't say that thing now, uh, eh? But uh, that is what you mean. I don't understand. You really is. <laughs> Come on, teacher. So you like it when they are quarreling? It's not like I like it. It's just that you like it. You like it. Okay. You are you not happy so, when you see? So, so they are quarreling. Don't you? Um, oh, fun me. Yes. I always have this weird feeling whenever I think about this your overhyped maternity home. And the thing is, I can't wrap around my head why the feeling keeps popping up. Why? What feeling is that? Well, like I said, I, I can't really point to what exactly the thing is, but I hope you're in the right place. Of course, I'm in the right place at the right time. I mean, I've never been in a happier place than this place. Yes, I'm very happy here and I love it here. Don't you want to try a new place? For what exactly? I just said that I am happy where I am. So, what's the name of the hospital again? Oh, it's not a hospital. It's a maternity home. That looks like a hospital, but not a hospital hospital. But it's a hospital. I hope you understand what I mean. Okay, if you say so. It's a good place. So, um, Kep, Kep, Pano, food, kitchen, Kep. Stop embarrassing yourself. It's Kep, Kwan, if you want a kitchen. Okay. Kep, Kwan, Kwan, if So how do you feel now? You stayed away from your return for two weeks. You know that's not good. Yes, I know. Honestly, I didn't feel like going to anyone or eating anything. I see. You didn't want your body to play fast one on you. Well, you might feel like your body doesn't need the routine, but you know it's important. I'm very sorry, Tom. No, it's fine, it's fine. Just, you know, keep doing your normal exercises and keep at it. That's all. God bless you.
open, it's open. Auntie Carol! <laughs> Auntie Carol! <laughs> so is only Carol you saw working here? Uh, mama. Baby. Mm. You will be wasting your time trying to classify her. Mm -hmm. Amy has always been her second name. <laughs> 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 My boy! Your wife is very fat. This is practically evidence that shows that you have satisfaction in the bedroom. Must you talk? Must you talk I sit down first. Oh, I should sit. I know they will be shy. What? Mm -mm. Not here. Put it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I noticed. But why will you be shy? Why will you be? The evidence is exploding in front of you. <laughs> really a beautiful thing to have you as my daughter-in-law. You have so changed my son. And I must say, without a shadow of doubt, that everything manly about him, <laughs> he owes that to you. Just want to say thank you, my dear. Thank you very much. Mama, you and I have a thing together, you know. Remember you told me that you lost your father when you were three. And that's about the same age I lost my dad too. So I want to officially use this time to say thank you for letting me into your family. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, my dear. You are welcome. And you know, Chike's last relationship came on him like a wrecking ball. He was crazily devastated. Almost lost his mind. And I guess that's why he went here where. Yeah. Mm. He said that he lost himself. Hmm. Dear we are. He got himself entwined with too many people. At the stage, I genuinely feared for his life. There were just too many girls on the hook, including his secretary. <laughs> Chacha. Hmm. He said that he met her when he was transferred here. Mm -hmm. And she literally helped him to find his footing in his new workplace. <laughs> yes, she did. But when you came around, he found the right woman. <laughs> but she still thinks I stole her man. Hmm. <laughs> She understands. I believe she understands. If there is any victim of love theft, if there's anything like that, I think it's the UK lady. Mm. She sacrificed a lot for him. She did. But then, it wasn't about sentiment. It had to do with the future of their unborn, unborn children. children. Not sentiment, my dear. So where is this lady now? She stays in Lagos. At least that's where she remained after their breakup. She could as have well gone back to the UK, you know. I don't know if she did, but I honestly pray that it is really well with her, wherever she is. Now come on, my dear. Just want to say thank you for everything. Go 
What is going on here? She's my guest. Hey! Cha Cha, are you not supposed to be in the office? It's lunchtime, sir. It's fine. <laughs> you two should have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Careful with my secretary. Guy, come on for this. You know why you're laughing? You're for leaking with my secretary. <laughs> Guy, I'm not for leaking with anyone. Ah, I took an innocent girl for an innocent lunch. No strings attached, I beg. I am not standing in your way. On the contrary, I support you. Are you celebrating it up? I'm doing you a favor, Seth. You don't know. I don't understand. I have a wife and you know it. Chacha actually asked me to apologize to you on her behalf. I think I believe her. You believe her? You more than believe her for you to have offered her compensation for the apology. See, I beg. No insults because I've run an errand for you. I beg. I beg. <laughs> Wonderful meal. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, wow. Full house. So fun, me. Chicken. Could you have been everyone, by the way? Is that not your Calabar best friend that has refused to find herself a husband? <laughs> Auntie Caro, are you watching me? You don't want me, ni? Welcome to the club of the single ladies. But Auntie Carol, we all know that you're not single. You married to at least seven men, mm. all divorced. And now, I am moving on. To so where? Oh, sis, to the promised land, of course. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you all are being selfish and stingy. You knew I was coming. Why didn't you dish my food? Well, I'm going to have myself. No, 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 no. Don't come to this. Hey, no. Oh, who knows where he has sawed in our hands? You need to go and wash. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't take it.
when someone will invite you know this guy dropping you off at the gate every time when are you going to invite him over there's nothing like that he's just a friend besides he's my boss's close friend mm. okay so this your boss that I still haven't met and now his friend is chasing my sister nobody's chasing anybody like I said, it's just a regular friend. Oh, okay. So when am I going to meet him? It's just a random friend, nothing too serious. Okay. Okay. No problem. So why does he keep dropping you off every night? Have you been spying on me? Well, it's not called spying per se. You know, this is my house at my gate, so I have eyes and I can see. Well, there's nothing going on. It's just my friend, a random friend. Okay. okay, I agree. He's a random friend. So tell me when you are going to invite this random friend for, you know, just dinner or some tea. Sister! Oh, you know this. Sister! Ha! Did I see a smile on your face? Just invite him over. Come on. Tired. Mama, I am tired. What is this problem for? From the day I give birth to this boy, it's been from hospital to home, from home to hospital. We've been spending on this boy. God, this is not fair. This is not fair. God, this is not fair. I did not forgive for this one. It's okay. You cry day in, day out. All will be well, my dear. 
Mm -hmm. Relax. Mona Lisa, you have to take it easy on yourself. You have to listen to your mother-in-law. This might be a very big challenging period for you. But you don't make crying an everyday event. You don't cry too much. Help yourself, please. Huh? Me, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. I don't do this thing to my mother. Okay? I, I look so sick on my mother. Oh! Like thank God you're back. Your son has been sick. He has been taking us from one hospital to the other. Where is my child? He's upstairs. Did he just walk away? Caro, allow him to settle down. It's okay, it's okay. He's walking away. It's okay. You, 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 you're seeing it. What did the doctor say? Auntie Carol told me he took the baby to the hospital. Yeah, he prescribed some drugs as usual. The baby keeps taking these drugs, but there's no significant improvement. What exactly could be wrong with our child? The doctor said he will be fine. He said he will be better. I wonder where all these troubles are coming from. It's not the conference. So what's what's the problem? What's it? My son is very sick. He has been sick since the day he was born. What? You see why I didn't like that delivery house you called the maternity home? It has nothing to do with the maternity home. Don't be sure, don't be too sure. You never can tell. The, the most annoying thing is that I don't even know what to do. Relax, relax. We'll find a way around it. Just cheer up. Man. I didn't like that maternity I told you. That's it. I like it. Oh, find me. You should know I'm going to ask you this again. How much do you trust this maternity home? And I'm going to answer you for the umpteenth time. The hospital is not the problem. I think we should be bothered about finding a solution for my son. And I suppose we should just give it a little more time. The doctor said we should give it more time while staying on the medication. The hospital is not the problem. <laughs> My son has been suffering from the day I gave birth to him. <laughs> Every week. You have been here. Do you know the story? What is happening? What do you want? I don't mean any harm. I know we have a couple of stuff going on. But trust me, I don't want any part of flesh. I'm more concerned about what's happening with your child. I'm sorry all this is happening to you. Please sit. going on. My 
son is sick. My wife and I virtually live in the hospital now. I, I just don't know what is going on. I don't know if this child is cursed. Don't say that, son. This is a challenging moment. I agree with you, but trust me, we will pass it. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Um, enough of my ugly and sad predicament. Let's just talk about you. Me? Mm -hmm. What's there to talk about me? What is there not to talk about you? I see you and Rob everywhere lately. I don't know why you guys keep saying this. There's nothing going on between me and Rob. <laughs> We're just friends. We'll see to that. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. <laughs> Please, you're a bit relieved and I'm happy. Thank you very much. Monarasa never told me all this was happening. How could she be bearing all this burden all by herself? What do you say? Bearing the burden all alone? Well, if I should remind you, when I and my sister came, you were nowhere to be found. And now you are saying she bore it all by herself. That was not what I meant. I was only... Only what? Only what, if I may ask? Carol, it's okay. Take it easy. This woman, I knew she would always have something nasty to say. It's okay. Ah, don't be that rash. Eh? Oh, okay. people everywhere. Mind up. Ah, oh. I understand it. Look at this. All will be well. Hmm? Ah! What's that? What's that? Get some rest. She needs it. Oh, Please stop. You've been crying all day. Listen, I promise you everything will be fine. Yes. Everyone keeps saying the same thing. Mama, they said it will be okay. When? Let the sickness leave my son and kill me. Oh, don't say that. I'm tired, I'm tired, Guy, I seriously think something is wrong somewhere. Where exactly? Where? Are you sure that child is really yours? What do you mean by that? Yeah, I'm just asking. I don't think about it now. I feel really bad for Chiki. 
all this shouldn't be happening to me. I think that child isn't theirs. Like, I don't know what that means, but Melissa is one lady I've come to believe so much in. I can swear my life she never stayed on Chiki. Are you suspecting? I don't know. I'm not saying anything. You know what? Forget I said all those things. After all, we came here for us. Don't sway from this. You're actually making sense though. Forget all those things I said. Just, I'm probably about thinking things. As I said, we came here for us. <sighs> and I've come to adore you so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't know what to say to that. You don't have to say much. Just say yes. Yes to what? Will you marry me? Don't you think we are rushing things? It's never too early to find love. And it's never too late to let love happen. to an SS child. Does it even make sense? How? I've been a very good wife to you. I've been a wife and a friend to you, Chike. And if there's one thing that you owe me in this hard time, it is respect. You owe me respect. To give it to me, chicken. Listen, I am going to respect you when you tell me where you got that thing from or who got you pregnant. Chiki, because you cannot, you cannot be insult me. me like this. You cannot insult me like this. You're not mad. You can't insult me like that. What are you talking about? Yes, she's right. She can stop insulting that girl. She's innocent. Don't you that? Auntie, please, can, can I have a conversation with my wife? Can I? That's not a conversation. That's an accusation. Stop accusing her! Can I please come in? We need to talk. See, both of you should go to your room, please. Just go to your room. Um, I told you. I did. Chicken won't open this door. I told you that, but you did not believe. Chicken, do not open the door, okay? We are cool out here, but listen from inside. Stop accusing that innocent lady. Stop accusing her. She is innocent. And stop messing yourself up. Two of you should just leave my room, leave! Are we in your room? No, sir. I, 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 I just don't understand. No, 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 what, what are you telling me? Go ahead, make, make it make sense. I am innocent. I overheard everything. But all, all I could do was to stay in here and cry my heart out. I trust you, my daughter. Beyond a shadow of doubt, I know. I know you, Mona Lisa. I know you will never and you did not cheat on your husband for a child. I know that. Mama, I swear with everything that I have, I have 
I've never cheated on my husband. But I understand him when he said that our blends of genotype cannot produce a nurse's child. And it keeps me wondering. What is happening? I don't understand. I don't too. But you need to calm down. There must be a way out. The same story. Don't lose hope. I will not have you insult my son in that manner. I will take every other nonsense from you. But do not talk down on my son. Please! There will be no peace until you tell me where you brought that thing from. How dare you? How dare you speak to me like that? Are you mad? Are you stupid? That's my nine months. Are you mad? Do you know how many times I cried because of that boy's condition? Is something wrong with you? Melissa, you slapped me. And I will slap you over and over again. If you dare call my son a thing again, you. you know what? Take that thing you call a son and get out of my house! My son is not a thing! He's not a thing! He didn't bring that upon himself! I didn't do that! Do you get what is wrong with you? You'll be doing us good if you take that thing you call a son out of my house! Chiki! Okay. What is happening to me? Solve that one, you're going to add another one. Are you okay? Rob, did you come here to shout? Does it matter? Like, were you even thinking about your family yesterday? Were you thinking about anybody that makes it yourself? 
You know what? The next time you want to die, just go to your room, lock your door and die there. Don't put all of us under pressure. Bro, what is all this noise about? Hmm? I needed to clear my head and that was exactly what I did. Yeah, I know I got tipsy, but I needed the alcohol because I wanted to clear my head. Okay, you also needed to walk into the woods. As I said, see, next time you want something like this, think about Mona Lisa. I know you don't give a crap about the child. Think about Mona Lisa. The amount of pain that lady has gone through these past few months. Some people haven't experienced something like that in a lifetime. Think about it. How do you even expect me to care about that child? Is he mine? See, Omo, that child, on top of that child matter. Let's should do DNA tests now. I mean, we all hear what? Yes, that's that's true. How come I never thought of this? This is not drink, 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 they ate. See, guy, everything we don't talk here now. Now, this thing, this DNA stuff now, that's the only meaningful thing. Yeah, I swear you vex me. I swear. Doctor, what is this? What is the meaning of this? How can you go ahead and tell my husband that our son's DNA does not match with his, or even I, the mom? Well, I don't think I can explain it more than the way it is. It, it, it is what it is. Doc, what are you saying? How is this even possible? That our son's DNA does not match any of us? What, what do you call that? How do you even explain it? There's no further way I can explain it. It just... Well, to clear your doubts, I'll suggest you visit some, some other hospital. At least, maybe try on some other tests. Just to clear your doubts. Please. You know what, Doctor? You need to shut this hospital down. Because you don't know anything that you're doing. Imagine the doctor saying he's confused and that's why he wants to bring problem between I and my husband. You need to shut down this place. What is this now? That's a place to find the answers for something. What exactly don't you understand? I always told you there was something fishy about this whole situation. But this is not possible now. It's not possible and you know it. But what do you mean it's not possible? Something that is unfolding before your eyes, you are saying it's not possible. Don't deceive yourself, fool. But wait, what do you intend to do about it? Honestly, I don't know. But one thing I am sure of is that I am not going to father another man's child. So you are going to send your wife away with a child? I did not say that. You are not saying anything. What are you going to do? I'll find a way around it. You know how it is when I put my mind to something. I'll find a way. If you are listening to me, this will not happen. I told you. I told you. You need to hear what. Babe, look, you need to stop this. Just stop crying. Do you remember what you used to tell me about men? You told me never to allow a man make me feel less of myself. Now look at you. What's this one now? Like, like he used me. He broke my heart. Like he's a bastard. He broke my heart. To think that I gave him everything. I spent my whole for two years with him. And this is how he paid me back. I never even knew. I would have even suspected not once that Mike is dating someone else. He used me. That bastard used me. And just dumped you like that. <laughs> he used you and dumped you. Ah, dumped my fine girl like a piece of shit. Look, it's okay. You see why I tell you? I don't regret anything horrible I do to men. For that man, I dropped everything. I suspended everything in my life just to make sure I deal with him. Um, what did you do to him? You know, we never got to finish that conversation. Well, I'm still on it. I am still on it. And trust me.
feel. I feel very weak. How is my baby? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Don't worry, you'll carry him very soon. Thank you so much. Um, where's my husband? My mother? Let me just calm down. No one is allowed to see you yet. Very soon, they will be given an opportunity. Okay? Well, good. So when you need me, just call me. Why is your mom this way? Ma, the baby you switched with Mrs. Chickens is actually a nurse. Yes, I'm aware. Okay, I didn't know you were away. Look, I know. And that's why I did exactly what I did. Okay. So is that why your mood is like this? Yes, Ma, you know, I thought we look enough. You yeah. know exactly why I did this. So speak nothing of this day again. Okay, Ma. Ma, you know I owe you my life. Good. Alright, Ma. Thank you, Ma. That all. Mm -hmm. Look, I do not regret anything I did to Chike. Not at all. Let me tell you, sometimes you need to give people a lifetime payback. Like, what are we even talking about? Have you forgotten what that guy did to me? Like, have you forgotten what he did to me is still living in me? So let him just watch. Hmm. Well, I know me. I wouldn't have had the mind to do that. that that's... lately especially after the delivery of of your i mean the delivery of the boy uh all has not been good uh, but i but i commend you for being able to manage this situation thank you so much mama it is my family and if i don't manage it who will i i, I just thank you for believing in me oh. you are a good man thank you very much Thank you too, Mama. I, I need to uh, rush now. I have an appointment to the doctor. Okay. Right. I will see when you get okay. okay. I totally disagree with that kind of nonsense. Didn't that your useless doctor friend know that that maternity home is the best, not only in town, but in the entire state. Why are you always supporting this maternity home? Why? What is it about them that is making you support them? Because they are good. Mama, yeah. you got to know about this maternity home from a matron. That's the same way I'm seeking professional advice from a doctor friend to know exactly what happened to my child. Why all this noise? My boy, was it your voice I heard shouting at your mother? Auntie Carol, please, I, I am not in the mood for this. Oh, that's disrespectful. What happened? Oh, 
madness everywhere. Madness has always been an invaluable, viable. Oh. 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 Tired. All that doctor said is really true. I am even angry to cause this long to actually figure it out. My mother can be gullible most times. Imagine standing me up because of that maternity home. Huh. So what are we going to do now? Because like this, we can't handle this alone. Are you suggesting we involve the police? Ah, yes, no. Because, or do you want to do this? Do you want to do this illegal way? Because we have to. We have to involve them. We have to. See, Rob, we need to get something to hold on to. Then we take it to the police and they take it up from there. No. Ah. No, 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 no. I don't I don't agree with this one. Bro, calm down. I know exactly what I'm doing. Huh? Yeah, no. Look, come, come. When next they come here, just tell them that. Tell them that I've been transferred to another branch. That's not possible. Everyone knows you own here. Why do you always object to everything I say? I'm sorry. Look, you must stop that nonsense. Okay. Just go, go, go! Are you serious about what you're saying? Yes. She's my sister. I wouldn't want anything that would jeopardize my sister's happiness and safety. But then, I don't support evil. The owner of that maternity is your sister? Yes, she is. Inspector Joe, and this is Sergeant Spino. Okay, so what can I do for you? Do you know Miss Gertrude? Who are these men and what are they doing here? Policemen. Policemen? Officers, how can we help you? Do you know Miss Gertrude? That's me. We are from State Area Command. Please, do you know Mrs. Mona Lisa Chike? Yes. Yes, I do. She attends our antenatal routine. Did she give birth there? Yes, she did. Okay, madam. You will join us in the police station. Operation. Why? What for? Don't worry, once you get there, you will know better. There's no way my sister is going with you guys. That's not possible. Really? Yes. <laughs> Don't you think it's better you tell us the truth than delaying this process? Yes. Because you're leaving us with no option than to force the truth out of your mouth. Well, excuse me. I don't know what you're talking about. What is all this about? Listen. You have made too many promises since we got here. What do you know about Mona Lisa Child? I know nothing of what you are talking about. So if you don't mind, leave my compound. Yes. Madam. Huh? Would you prefer, would you, would you prefer we call up a witness that has given us every necessary information that we needed? Look, officer, I have had enough. Enough. Just leave my compound. Yes, leave. Leave. I should leave. 